I did not grow up in a Christian household. Um, going to church was something that we did not do. Um, we didn't discuss God or religion or Christianity. Um, I went to college and met a great group of girls um, who were Christians. And I had gone to church with them a couple of times, but it just didn't click for me. I transferred to Ohio State to become a sports reporter, um, which was a very difficult field. Um, I have four older brothers, so I'm used to being one of the guys, but I was not used to being publicly critiqued and criticized. It was really hard to find my identity and my value. Um, I was trying to find it in friends and guys and my job, and it was always disappointing. So I had met someone and um, went to lunch and saw them pray before they ate, and it was something that I had never seen before. Um, when I saw a Christian living for Christ, I knew that a relationship with Jesus was something that was worth exploring. After my curiosity had sparked, I realized that I had never read the Bible. So I went to Half Price Books and went to the religion section, found an old Bible that was clearly from a hotel that I bought for a dollar, and just started reading. And I started reading books and asking questions and going to random churches around Columbus. I had reached back out to some of my Marshall friends and asked them what it meant to be saved. And my friend pulled out her Bible and read me some verses that her dad had highlighted. Um, and just accepting that Jesus Christ is my savior and died on the cross for my sins. And I just felt so loved and so comforted in that moment. I realized that I had been dependent on people and material objects to make me happy, and that also allowed them to crush me. Through reading the Bible, I realized that I was made in God's image and that He loved me unconditionally. Um, so I didn't need to find my value in other things um, outside of Him, that uh, He loves me unconditionally in the best way and that I don't have to be a perfect person um, for God's love. Everything is different since I gave my life to Christ. Um, it's changed the way I live and the way I love and interact with people. Um, even in difficult situations, I just know that he has a plan for me because he loves me and um, just have to give my worries and anxieties to him. My name is Jordan Elwood and I'm getting baptized today because Jesus has changed the way I live and where I found my value. And I wanna live every day for him.